This working visit follows a presidential directive to ensure that challenges affecting ongoing hydropower projects are addressed as a matter of urgency. Nabanja and her team were taken on a guided tour for the project site, which included the powerhouse, dam area, and substations. Why don't you take enough energy to lead us? And then you have somewhere you can... The demand is low. So you have to reach the factories in Tororo, Mbale, otherwise Lira, all around here they consume about 16 megawatts. Well, uh, then here, so just a moment, this is the line now to Olwio. Uh, this is rated at 400 kV, but initially it will operate at 132. Again, because of reasons of demand, then the other plants that are yet to come will be uh, evacuating to Olwio. That's where the line is planned from Olwio to Juba through Nimule. Construction of Karuma hydropower plant will cost $1.7 billion and it is expected to be completed by September this year. As of today, all the lines have been, uh, the towers are all erected, they are strong and uh, power can be evacuated, save for uh, Kawanda where we are waiting uh, restoration works. Um, in terms of uh, completion, uh, the power station works, which is the hydropower project, uh, completion stands at 99.4%. Uh, the transmission lines is 99.7%. Then lastly, the corporate social responsibility projects, uh, completion is at 100%. The project is being financed with a loan from the Exim Bank of China, co-funded by the government of Uganda. Karuma Hydropower Construction, which started in 2013, has had delays caused by challenges in land acquisition, particularly along the Karuma Lira transmission line. In December last year, the Karuma Kawanda transmission line was vandalized. There has been repeated vandalism of power transmission lines in some parts of the country. This has been equated as an act of terrorism. His Excellency the President uh, wants the transmission line electrified. We must guard this project Jerasire because it is the umbilical cord of our development. The president has already made his directives. I can see most of them have been uh, implemented. So the, the, the remaining ones, like having so many transformers, this we shall handle with the ministry to make sure that at least most towns are connected to power and to make sure that all those small, even these small, small industries. It is projected that vandalizing infrastructure, if not contained, will make implementation of government projects very expensive. Government is consistently investing in hydropower production to facilitate industrialization drive. We would actually wish to get uh, the generation of electricity in the lower Nile. There are three dams which we can construct, Oriang, Ayago, and Keba, just downstream. We need to bring them on now. And we should not wait until uh, the time when we need that power. We should actually move very fast now to start a new project. Because this one is virtual at, at the end of it and takes 10 years to construct a plant like this one. According to the contractor and the implementing government agencies, the physical progress of the project was estimated to be at 99.9% complete. The Community Development Action Plan has not been fully implemented due to funding gaps. Political and local leaders from the districts of Nwoya and Kiriandongo were also in attendance.